This yes. is the inside of the red pyramid. Mm -hmm. The before, stinky one. Yeah, before the wooden floor was installed. And over here on the right, now there's a huge staircase that covers up this wall and it takes you up to the final chamber. But this is what it looked like originally. Wow. And so I didn't know that we were going to get a chance to go inside of the Red Pyramid. I knew that we were going to go inside the Great Pyramid and get to explore some other sites. But again, Yusuf had some surprises for us. And again, this was my first trip, 2017. Mm -hmm. I had just gone to Abu Sir, seen that collection bowl, and my mind was already racing on the production of chemicals and the collection of chemicals. So that was our first site visit. Our next site visit was inside the Red Pyramid. So I go inside this thing and I start seeing all the staining on the walls and the flow dynamics. If you look here on the left, you can literally see a staining pattern moving from the upper vault and flowing down through this connecting shaft. Yes. And that is an indication of the fluid dynamics of the chemical process moving through the structure. And the conventional explanation of the staining inside of the red pyramid and the smell of ammonia, because when you get to that final chamber, it smells like ammonia. Very, very. It stinks of ammonia. And I dye my hair blonde, so I know what ammonia smells like. And, and I, it does. I went in there and was like, oh my God, ammonia. It smell and then I was like, is that pee? That can't be pee. And then I was like, nobody's right. peeing in this pyramid. Very glad that you noticed that because and that's the explanation is that the stink out of the walls is somehow caused by bats and that this smell of ammonia is caused by bats. Well, I can assure you, it does not smell like urine in there. And urine would have a very distinct smell and guano would certainly have. And bats, when they're flying, they make droppings and it falls onto the floor. Mm. The staining does not come out of the walls, which is exactly what we see in the red pyramid. It's oozing out of the walls. It's extruding from the stone. So as, as soon as I heard that explanation, I was like, oh, this is nonsense. I knew that it was chemical staining. And fast forward five years, I will now later on in this presentation present a chemical analysis of exactly what this material is, is doing on the walls inside of the chamber. So again, this is just, it's a very chemical for fertilizer. Yeah. The reason we have our industrial scale agriculture today is because we started to produce ammonia on an industrial scale for fertilizer. It was the beginning of the modern industrial revolution and the production of chemicals on a large scale. Mm. So I knew, I was like, ammonia, fertilizer, Egypt was a huge agricultural industrial civilization. Of course, they would want to produce more crops. So all of the things just started lining up and it was leading me more in the direction of investigating this ancient chemistry because I knew that this was a chemical. As soon as I went in there, I knew what it was. Mm -hmm. It took me some time to figure out exactly how it was operating, but I knew that this was a chemical manufacturing plant for the production of ammonia. And we'll get into exactly how that works here in just a second. But I just wanted to show this to your, to your audience that there is massive chemical staining inside of this. And no one can tell me, look at this picture here. There's no way you can tell me that's from bats. 